Good morning. Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Tuesday morning. So today is the last day for Amazon Prime Day. So yesterday and today is the, you know, Amazon Prime Day if you guys are interested. Uh, so I went through some, a lot of different items for maybe you guys might like for coffee items, but man, it's not that much out there. Okay. Only deer I can find was the, what? This scaler for what two dollars off or three dollars off, so he wasn't that great, okay. And um, so, you know what? Let, let's move on, okay. Let's move on. Let's do some unboxing this morning. I'm gonna shout out to friends at Kit Tech uh, from Eddie. Uh, so Eddie sent me this uh, copper temping station. I'm really excited about because I know some of you already have temping station slash knockbox combo. They're not that cheap, okay. So I've been using my San Antonio industry for a long, long time. And I mean, you know, this is like, you know, great temping station. And also you can hold your tools as well, distribution tool. And they have some knockbox here. So, okay, I, the fact is that this knockbox is tiny. Okay, so I don't use that for knockbox. I use it as more for the like temping station, but works great. So this one is like 79 bucks. So almost $80 on this one. So I've been, you know, uh, looking for like, you know, a four-hour temping station for a while because not everybody can afford to buy, you know, $80 temping station. So, so I was looking through, not from Amazon, from Etsy. Etsy has a lot of these independent, uh, kind of like makers out there, the designer and makers. And uh, I saw this one. Okay. Let me show you guys. Let's do some live unboxing here. I'm going to have my son to hold the camera here. Make sure. So he sent me two models, okay? One for the 54 millimeter and one for 58, okay? So if you guys have 50, so this is extremely simple. I haven't seen it yet, so I'm really excited to share that with you, these unboxing moments. So this, uh, they look like this is a 54 millimeter. You know, package pretty nice. Okay, has a kit tech on it. That's a his brand. Okay. You know, I'm not gonna open it yet. Okay. Hold on a second. Let's do. Get ready for this one as well. So this is, I believe, 58 millimeter. Okay. All right. Let's start with 54, pretty nice. Oh, this is quite nice, isn't it? Okay, it has a Kit Tech logo on it. Man, not too bad, okay. I think it looked like he just finished this. Actually, I can smell the uh, the coating as well, you know, the oil as well. So I think I, I need to dry it out for a few days. But hold on a second. So there's your te uh, you put your tools there, more like your distribution tool. Yep, fits just like that. Okay, fits perfect. So most likely because put your distribution tool since uh, we have the temper goes to the side of the machine there, our bravery machine, magnetic tool, so we don't need to have it. Okay, hold on a sec. And so let's take a look. So it fits in just like that, okay. Actually looks good. It does work. So that's bottomless. So this is the regular temper. Man, what do you guys think, guys? Uh, you is that something you guys might be interested? Uh, let me know in the comment section as well. Okay. All right. So let's take a look at the other one. So this is a 58 millimeter. So this is just a temp station, the temping station here. Okay. So it has a light coating on it. So this is for 58 millimeter. 
Very simple, simple design. It can look like he made through like what four by you know four no five, four by six or six by six. Yeah, very extremely simple design. So this one for fifty eight millimeter. Obviously, it's not gonna work here, but yeah, it does work. But yeah, so di so this one for fifty eight millimeter. Very s simple design. But actually, I'm more excited about this one here. Okay. Yeah, not not bad. Okay, not bad. You know, not bad at all. So that is a uh, new, the temping station from the Kit Tech. Okay, so this is a, a lot more affordable than San Antonio Industry. Simple design, and I like the look of it. So you know what? Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play with it for a while. Okay, I'm gonna make sure everything is in, look like he just uh, finished this, so I can actually smell it. But uh, hopefully, they are uh, this. Uh, Design's great, very simple. Uh, is there any questions on that or no? Okay, good. The price is good too. I think this is all under 40 bucks. So I think he's selling for like 35. I'm gonna give you the exact price on it and, and also I'm gonna put the link down below as well. But yeah, I mean, it's not bad. Not bad at all, pretty cool. So let's see here and what else is going on? So. By the way, the Weber Workshop just released, the, uh, they launched their website for their new grinder this morning. Uh, they're open for pre-order right now, starting this morning. So they're coming up, it's called Key Grinder. Okay. Looks fantastic though. Uh, starting at like 1500 bucks. Not cheap. But if you guys are interested, make sure to check it out as well. And let's see here. I think pretty much it this morning. Okay. Uh, before we go, let's make some coffee, okay? Uh, we forgot to make some uh, make coffee yesterday, so uh, let's dial it in. Uh, uh, let's give it a Ethiopia try one more time this morning, and then uh, let's get going. Can we make the Frostino coffee recipe? What day would be good? Frostino coffee recipe. For Simon. Oh yeah, Frostino coffee recipe. Oh uh, maybe yeah. When can we make that? Uh, maybe sometime this week. I'm not quite sure. Okay. Maybe yeah, we're gonna do some coffee recipe this week. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be, it'd be a lot of fun as well. So, you know what? What do you got? Uh, let me know in the comment section. Is there something you guys might be interested in in your house? Yeah, let me know. Love to hear from you. Okay. Again, simple design. Okay, let's get going. So I'm still using my Brewster Express. Maybe next week, uh, let's switch back to Brewster Pro next week. Okay. And I'm using 19 gram here. I know so many of you out there, you know, about the grinder size. That's something you have to play with. Uh, if you guys are curious, I'm using grinder size number nine. Okay, nine at the moment. You know what, some reason my Brista Express, the grinder is getting, getting weaker and weaker because my grinder used to be, my grind amounts used to be around four o'clock. Now I have to go even longer, okay? Now it's more like six o'clock, more like seven o'clock right now. I mean, I can definitely tell that my grinder is not like used to be, okay? But still works. Uh, if you guys have a similar issues you, you have, please let me know in the comment section because, yeah, I mean, you know, I'd love to hear from you as well. Okay, I'm just going to, you know, let's, let's give it a try here. Something like that. I'm going to distribute. Give it a quick temp here. No, it's not bad, okay? I mean, I, I like the, the workflow. Yeah. Yeah, it's not bad at all. I'm actually pleasantly surprised. Okay. 
Works pretty good. I'm going to just lock it in here. I think I'm going to make coffee for my son this morning. So I'm just going to pull the shot. Just regular shot here. Because a two ounce is about that high. So. It's about one o'clock range there, so that's about more like uh, maybe 10 bar right there. 10 bar pressure. Shot looks good. Yep. Shot looks fantastic. It's great shots, okay. Okay, I think uh, we have what super chat or mm -hmm. super sticker. Who's that? D Park. D. D Park. D Park. Yeah, thank you for the super chat. Okay, so uh, we are trying to kind of like the raise money for new coffee machine for my channel right now. So I think I'm gonna go with the dual boiler. Okay, dual boiler with like lorry pump. Okay, so I'm looking at between twenty-five and thirty-five hundred dollar range there. So. Uh, so far, we raised about what two hundred and eighty dollars so far, quite a bit. Okay, and it's still a long way to go, but I think you know we're gonna get there. Hopefully, sometime this year, it'd be nice. But if not, at some point, I, I think I'm gonna just you know make up the difference and pull the trigger. But the reason why, okay, here's all thing about buying a coffee machine for yourself. Uh, first of all, what kind of drink you guys like to you know drink the most? Okay, if you guys like drink espresso a lot like black coffee a lot you know you don't need to buy dual boiler okay even like eventually a Serbia or Gaza classic should be just fine but if you like to entertain people or better yet I mean if you want to you know make you know if you like to make multiple drinks at a time especially a latte milk based drink having a dual boiler is tremendous okay so much faster you're gonna have much better quality you don't have to wait around so, but if you, if you don't care about milk-based drink, I mean, I say Rancholia Sylvia is pretty good. Even like, I mean, the, the, the reason why I like Rancholia Sylvia, they give you all the options and also, you know, looks good. Don't get me wrong, Gaza Classic Pro is pretty nice as well, but I think I, I like the look and feel of uh, Rancholia Sylvia. And you can always add a PID uh, down the road as well. So that sets you back around thousand bucks with the PID model. So, again, uh, again, if you don't care about the milk-based drink, I mean, Rancho Serbia is a very good option, but don't forget the grinder, though. I think most people f sometimes forget about the grinder because the grinder should be, you want to be, you want to get a good grinder, okay? I know, I think uh, uh, Eureka Special Eater is fantastic. Any Eureka is great. Eureka is great. Obviously, we have the niche grinders out there. They're also fantastic, too. So, we got niche. We got Eureka. Also, we got DF64 right now from China. They are making a big headway as well. Uh, you know, unless if you guys want to spend thousands of dollars on like Option O, Weber. So, I mean, again, it's all depend on your budget. Okay, but if you're looking for your next coffee machine, just think about the what, you know, what I want, okay, on your coffee machine. I think that's very important. We got Paul has comments. Yeah, he said, um, are you going to buy the Kathlon Kemp IQ while it's on Prime Day special? Kathlon Kemp I Kemp IQ, it's a coffee machine with steam wand. Oh, okay, so I'm not gonna buy that one. Okay, Kathlon Temp IQ, yes. He says that I feel you can com I feel confident you can honestly and intelligently review it. Review it, you would be adding a service to your users sure. by giving them a more The power has a great point about the uh, Kaflan. Okay, so Kaflan, they makes this, uh, this kind of a Bravo Brista Express like machine for, it's on sale right now. I think today is the last day for that. I think they're selling for $399, okay? That machine's 238 at Best Buy right now. They Which? 238 at Best Buy right now? The with the built-in grinder, okay? Because um, with, with the built-in grinder, 
Oh, no, not with the bill. Yeah, it's a built-in grinder. It's, uh, it's on sale for three ninety nine dollars on Amazon right now. So, uh, you said it's 300 on Amazon, right? 300 right now on Amazon? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what? I'd, I'd definitely look into it, okay? Definitely. 300 bucks is not bad. I mean, I think it's three ninety nine, but if it's 300 I definitely, I'm going to seriously look look into that as well, okay? I'm going to shout out to, is that Derek? Paul. Paul? Okay, Paul. And I saw a super chat. Is that Steve? Deep Park again. Deep Park again for, yeah. He said, I didn't know you were starting an upgrade fund. Here's a bit more towards the new Okay. Year. So again, the reason why I'm upgrading it, okay, don't get me wrong. I have a lot of coffee machine at, here at my home. I have a Rancholia Servia Pro. I'm sorry, the Rancholia Servia with the PID. I have a Lapaboni, the Brista Pro, and also we have Brista Express. The reason why I'm trying to get a get a trying to get a fund the fund going for the, the next motion because I, I want to get that motion for for you guys okay so we can do some the serious comparison because I'm not gonna so the next motion is not going to be the betweener so I'm, I'm trying to get the machine that pretty much upgrade from your Bravo okay upgrade from your Bravo Barista Express or Pro we are going to skip the mid-range version and then let's go after the high one okay so which means a uh, uh, dual boiler most likely comes with the PID okay comes with the rotary pump which means you can actually plumb in it in your kitchen as well so that's kind of like the end goal okay once you I mean obviously if you are watching my channel you guys like make coffee okay which means coffee is your hobby okay the ultimate your hobbyist some point in your life you want that plumbing i mean i don't know about you guys but i really want the plumbable coffee machine down the road so i don't have to worry about filling the water every single time it's a lot easier to make that you know that move there so so again so that those machines are between 25 and 35 hundred dollar range not cheap again but hopefully we are going to compare is that really worth upgrading it though okay so is that is that even worth upgrading because mo most of us i mean like regular coffee drinker like us this coffee is great okay but the incremental the improvement the cost should be between two thousand and three thousand dollars is that really worth it okay i mean that's something you know personally i like to answer you know i, I like to find the answer for it because i try all kinds of coffees you know, I try the coffees from, you know, the nicest coffee shop in, the, in Tucson. I compared it with espresso. The fact is, my espresso from Brisa Express is better than most coffee shop in Tucson. Because I know what I like though, okay? I know what I like, what kind of roasting level, because if you go to most coffee shops, they have their house plan, the one type of roast. So it's kind of like hard to get the coffee you guys like, okay? Coffee I like. Even though they are using ten or $15,000 coffee machine with a very expensive coffee grinder, but you're not going to get the, the flavor you want, okay? But, you know, with dual boiler, with, you know, like, you know, a lot nicer setup, I think you're going to get the, the shot you guys really, you know, desire, okay? I mean, let's put it that way. And... So that is the goal, okay? So that's the goal for that machine. Do you have a Crema product coupon code? Okay, someone asked me for the Crema coupon code. I have not, okay? You know, let me reach out to uh, Matt from Crema Coffee Products because uh, Crema makes fantastic coffee gears, as you know. They make the Steam One. They make the, obviously, one of my favorite dosing cups as well. Dosing cups are fantastic. They're bottomless port filter. The fact is I have a crema product here, so I mean the reason why I like the crema that based in US, okay, even I mean they're you know, I think he's from Wisconsin, I think Michigan or Wisconsin somewhere. So yeah, I mean he's, you know he's local in a way. Yeah, uh, great product. So yes, yeah, so, uh, let me reach out to Matt and hopefully we can get some coupon code for you guys. Justin says um, a good grinder means no clumps, never had to declump from the Commandante. Okay, so Justin, okay, Justin mentioned about the, his Commandante hand grinder. Okay, but the fact is, you know what? 
I was using my Mazer coffee grinder, has a lot of clumps in it. Okay, so the cl the clump means the clump means it's, you don't have a good you know bad grinder. It's still good, but I guess some grinder out there so fluffy, but you know Commandante is very fluffy. Okay, what else? Paul says with the Kaplan, he says it has a grinder version has three way solenoid valve. Yep. I mean, again, the Kaplan has those I, the Kaplan IQ there. On paper, they're fantastic, okay? They have a 30 different setting for the grinder setting, uh, just like, you know, Brista Pro. And then, you know, they have a three-way solenoid. I, I bet you they have a PID built in as well. So they're, they're pretty good, okay? But, you know, yeah, I mean, let me take a look at that. Okay, let me take a look at it. Which descaling solution should I use? Uh, someone asked me which descaling solution. You know what? Just get the cheapest descaler out there, because I've been using. Hold on, maybe I can show you guys. Okay, I know some people like to use the. Okay, citric oxide, costs about two three bucks. So this one is good for like actual single boiler machine or double boiler machine because this one has a, you have to sit. So the so this one you gotta so, so citric acid solution has to be sit in the boiler to descale it, but with uh, Braber Brista Express or Pro they don't have boiler so they're using thermojet or thermal block technology okay just go through it. So this one is not work it doesn't work well okay that that's the reason why you know I usually get the descaler. Because they are a lot more thicker, you know, it works better. But, but again, correct me, I'm wrong, guys. But this one, I use that for my uh, single boiler machine, like Rancholia Serbia, I used it for this one, and also my uh, Lapaboni as well. So, yeah, I mean, so this scaler, just get the cheapest one you can find. I think they got one on sale right now on Amazon for 10 bucks for a pack of two. A viewer asked, will you use BWT filter for plumbed in machine? BWT. Filter, a uh, BWT. Uh, yeah, you know what? They are fantastic uh, filter. I think that's the one I'm thinking of because you cannot just uh, use the uh, regular tap water on your plumber machine. So you have to go through a filtering system. So again, I mean that's kind of like you know your dream kitchen, like my dream kitchen setup, because you have to have a filtering system, and also you got the plummet. Yeah, I mean that's another reason you want to. If you are upgrading your coffee machine save some uh, extra money you know if you have to you know wait a couple of years longer the, i mean get the machine you guys really want okay get the machine you guys really want so you don't have to think about buying another one down the road uh i think i we good i think we are good this morning i hope you guys having a one i, I hope by the way i hope this video helps okay Ho hope video helps to you know kind of thinking about you know what to buy next because it's endless Okay, I'm gonna shout out to Linda. Linda loves to buy gadgets. But again, there is an unlimited, okay, there's an unlimited copy gadgets out there. So, goodness. So, I mean, don't, don't try to keep up with uh, from like Instagram pages or, you know, fancy YouTube channels because there are so many tools and gadgets. So, as long as your coffee is good, Okay, as long as you're, you're happy with your coffee coming out from your machine, just stick with that. I mean, unless if you're people like me, I love gadgets, okay? I love, I love toys, I love gadgets, so, I mean, that case is fine, but if you, you just want the good coffee, you know what? You don't need that extra tools. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning. Hold on, we have one question. Um, we have one last question. <clears throat> Okay, so it comes to cleaning tablets. Again, just go with the cheapest tablet you guys have, okay? You guys find. I'm using this one called Civita. 200 tablets in there. I think it's 200. Lasts for pretty much lifetime. Because, yeah, because you use, what, cleaning tab, you know, whenever the light blinking. So, yeah. So, this one lasts for years and years and years. Again, so there's... It's all the same, so just to get the cheapest. One last question. How do you tell when it's time to install a new grinding head? 
So somebody asked, when is a good time to replace the grinding head, the grinder, which means that you're inner bird, okay? You know, hopefully I can maybe show you guys. Hold on a second here. Just bear with me for a sec. Because, because I do have a spare inner bird. So next time you are doing the cleaning, if you are, next time you are doing the cleaning, take it out, go through your finger, make sure you're gonna feel sharp, sharpness, okay? Need, needs to be sharp. It's kind of like dull. That's the one you want to replace it. Just again, take your finger to just go through the blade because it needs to be extremely, you know, sharp. So if you are dull, you know. So that's the one good time to replace it. Uh, make sure you get it from Bravo website. Okay, go to Bravo official website. You can get them for like, what, 20 bucks or so? If you go to Amazon, they're gonna charge you a double. So yeah, just make sure you get it from uh, Bravo. Are we, are we good this morning? Um, the large tub, are the tablets stuck together or broken versus buying the individually sealed ones? Uh, but the, someone asked me about the, what kind of, you know, I, I like those tablets. If you pay a couple dollars more, to just get the just small tablet, just single, single dose, single portion. So yeah, I mean, I mean that's my personal. But I know some people like the powder stuff, but it's just tablets easy, easy. Are you getting a DF sixty four? Someone asked me, am I going to get DF sixty four? I'm working on it. Okay, I think I, that's the grinder everybody's talking about so yeah i think i'm um, hopefully you guys are going to see it and steve asked, steve ask do you need to change both talking about the grinder head what do you he mean was the one that said ask the question about the grinder what about what about gr uh, grinder um how do you a grinding head how do you tell when it's time to install both and you said something and you said do you need to change both you can only replace one okay so this is it this is the inner bird kind of up, it's called upper bird inner bird doesn't matter because you cannot uh, replace the actual the, that blade on the bottom you can i don't think you cannot get it i mean if you know someone's get uh someone sells it let me know in the comment section love to hear from you because i cannot find those that part so so just this one okay i think we are good i think we are good this morning just make sure if you guys are watching right now on your computer or your phone, just press like on this video, okay? Make sure you press like. I mean, if you are just joining us for the first time, make sure you subscribe, okay? Uh, we, do, we do like daily live show, it's fun, okay? It's, it's, as long as it's fun for us, we're gonna keep doing it, okay? Anyway, uh, I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow.